Let's well, say you happen to be familiar with Unleash Boost gameplay. There's a good chance you've reset a few runs to clear an act faster for that spicy S rank. Or maybe to see how much time you could shave off your personal best. Whether playing competitively or going for a more customized gameplay style, here are a few tips and tricks you may find useful for speedrunning. Starting with the basics, we have Sonic's Jump. Jump height varies depending on how long the jump button is held down. These thresholds are important to consider while airborne since it's easier to maintain speed by jumping swiftly, whereas high jumps grant more lift and control for platforming. Boosting provides Sonic with a burst of speed on demand, and it provides a vulnerability to most basic obstacles. It's still easy to lose speed when running into walls, so you can just reset your boost to get back up to speed. Sliding and stomping, beyond their intended use, are some of the most powerful tools in Sonic's moveset due to the way that they carry momentum. While airborne, hold the stomp button to land with the slide. Alternatively, tap the stomp button while airborne to stop in place. Drifting is also a very versatile movement option, and it can be used to bank tight turns while recharging the boost gauge. The same technique can also be used to snake drift by rapidly alternating directions while boosting to travel much faster than normal. And a few more things to note, collecting rings does in fact affect Sonic's speed. For every 25 rings collected, Sonic's speed slightly increases. Holding 200 rings increases Sonic's base speed by about 47%, which can make a pretty big difference in the long run, so keep that in mind. But that's quite enough of all that. You're really here for the Forbidden Jutsu, right? Enter QSS, Quick Step Slide, and Quick Stomp Slide. As these names imply, the slide action is the crux of these exploits as it provides Sonic with a small burst of speed every time it's initiated. For Quick Step Slides, you'll want to avoid spamming Quick Steps as you'll need to give Sonic enough time to slide in between inputs to accelerate. With enough practice, you'll find that there's a rhythm to the timing to get the most speed out of this technique. And this can also be performed while boosting to put away obstacles and enemies that would otherwise slow Sonic down. For quick stomp slides, the strategy is to rapidly stomp slide on repeat to pick up speed. And this can be initiated by using the speed from an air boost to get started. Then just slide your thumb between the stomp slide and jump buttons to get into the rhythm. It can be a bit tricky since it involves tight inputs, but the faster Sonic is moving, the easier it is to maintain your speed. And with enough dexterity, the cha-cha slot can be used interchangeably, so feel free to get creative with Sonic's movement. Smooth sailing aside, you're bound to run into Eggman's welcome committee. Enter the Interceptor glitch. To activate this glitch, just enter an Interceptor chase. It's that simple. No special inputs required. The catch is that when you reset the stage, Sonic will retain the low air drag from the chase and the glitch remains active until the stage is closed. It's pretty easy to exploit since Sonic loses much less speed while airborne, and a good amount of momentum can go a long way. On the topic of aerodynamics, there just so happens to be another set of techniques that are even more effective at maintaining speed while airborne. <laughs> Enter maximum speed, M speed, and D speed. Here we go! 
M-Speed is the 3D version of this exploit, which can be used to reach groundbreaking speeds. To initiate M-Speed, gently hold the L-Stick forward just enough for Sonic to start walking. To launch M-Speed, get a good running start and catch some air. One of the most reliable setups is to use the speed from an air boost followed by Stomp Slide, and then jump while holding the L-Stick in place. While Sonic would normally lose speed while airborne, M-Speed allows Sonic to accelerate, so the strategy is to take advantage of airtime by jumping, and holding slide can help prevent Sonic from losing speed when landing in between jumps. There's a small margin for this input where tilting with too much or too little force won't trigger M-Speed, so be careful! As an advanced technique, this can also be tilted right or left with the same amount of force to change direction while airborne. There are quite a few restricted 3D areas where straightforward M-Speed may not work that effectively, so tilting up right or up left tend to be the best solutions. D-Speed is the 2D version of M-Speed. It's initiated by holding the L-Stick to the right or left just enough for Sonic to start moving. From there, just get a good running start and jump to accelerate. Another variation of this exploit is the Brake Jump Glitch, which can be performed by using upright M-Speed during transitions into 2D locations. After launching a Brake Jump, it could be cancelled by releasing the L-Stick, landing a precise stomp, or performing a carefully timed air boost. Just be sure to act fast, since it doesn't take long for Brake Jumps to crash the game. Thanks for watching! This has been an introduction to the Sonic Unleashed Day Stage Speedrun experience. Hope you found this helpful, or at least a bit entertaining. And hey, if you like what you've seen, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs>